Okay, so in this question, we're trying to see how well a set of probabilities given by 30% freshmen, 24% sophomores, 26% juniors, 20% seniors represents our data. So, um, all right, so we're interested in determining whether or not the model has significantly changed from that of five years ago. And we've collected data from now, and we have a model from five years ago. So immediately, we note that this is going to be utilizing a test for goodness of fit, right? Because we're testing for how well an existing model fits the data, okay? So this is, so this is our existing model, existing. And this is our data. Okay, so what is our null hypothesis? Basically, our null hypothesis is just is just our existing model, okay? So it's just going to be P1 equals 0 0.3, P2 equals 0 0.24, P3 equals 0 0.26, and P4 equals 0. Point two, where you know one just refers to freshman, uh, two refers to sophomore, etc. Okay. <clears throat> so, second part asks if the model for student classification this year has not changed from that of five years ago, how many of the selected students would have expected to be sophomores? Okay. Well. We have a total number of 290 students, right? And if the model hadn't changed, then 24% of the 290 students would have been sophomores. So the expected number is just 69.6, okay? Now, the observed test statistic is 7.88. <coughs> Assuming the model has not changed from five years ago, how many standard deviations away from the observed test statistic of 7.88 is, uh, is the expected value of the test statistic, okay? So we need two things. We need the expected value of the test statistic, and we need... Um, the variant, the standard deviation of our uh, of our of our observed test statistic value. Okay, so let's go find these on our formula card. Here's the expected value of our test statistic. Okay, it's just the degrees of freedom is just k minus one, um, where k um, right, k is just the number of groups we have, okay? <clears throat> and the standard deviation is just two times the degrees of freedom, okay? So given those formulas, we can write e x equals 3, Variance of x equals 2 times sorry, so this is this comes from df minus 1 equals 4 minus 1 oh, sorry, this is k right, so here, let me just Let's just clean that up a bit. Okay, so expected value of x equals degrees of freedom equals k minus 1 equals 4 minus 1, okay, equals 3. 
the variance of x is 2 times degrees of freedom equals, you know, 2 times 3 equals 6. So the standard deviation is root 6. So the number of standard deviations away from the mean, the expected value, that 7.88 is, is just uh, 7.88 minus 3 over about 2.45. Which equals about 1.99. Okay?